Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2019 Riglos Quinto Malbec from Mendoza, Argentina. I'll actually put the specific appellations in the video description if you're interested. But it is 14.5% alcohol by volume and I paid $14 for this at my local specs. So I saw this and I put it in the cart because we were doing... My kids like the movie Encanto and they wanted to have a, uh, a theme night of Encanto. So uh, my wife invited our in-laws over. She made this amazing short rib caldo that we had before and it was just paired perfect because it's a Colombian recipe. Uh, she made arepas, which are those little fried cheese puff things that they have in the movie. And then um, my wife asked me to pick up some Colombian wine. I told her that buying cocaine would probably not be a good idea, but instead I picked up some stuff from Mendoza, Argentina because it's still South American. Anyway, with all that being said, the lady who sold this to me said that they, she was very excited I was buying this because this was one of their best Malbecs under $20 that they had in the entire store. And so I want to see if she was blowing smoke up my butt or if this is actually gonna be good. So let's take a look at the color. From a color standpoint, dark ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose, Whoa, holy black currant. Yep, that is definitely there. Uh, there's a little bit of plum, there's some blackberry, there's a little bit of cherry, a little bit of raspberry. There's also a little bit of vanilla in here, like a very slight toasted coconut. So I would say that this was, if this wasn't done in American oak, I would be totally surprised. Anyway, so with all that being said, how does it taste? Mm, medium to medium plus tannins. Uh, it is a medium plus body wine, high acid really bright acid on this wine. Uh, in terms of intensity on, oh, I've always forgot to bring intensity on the nose, medium intensity on the nose, pronounced intensity on the palate. Those fruit notes really kick. That secondary is very present there. Everything is just, it shows up. It really shows up to have a fight on your palate to see who's gonna win. And I enjoyed the fight the entire time. It's like, it's like the wine version of UFC. Alcohol, alcohol tastes medium. Finish, medium plus finish. I, there's there's quite honestly nothing about this wine that I haven't enjoyed so far. I'm shocked that this is a $15 wine. But how shocked am I? Let's get to the blick. You probably already think you know the score, but do you really? Let's play this game. All right, so balance, what am I gonna give it? That's right, full point. Yeah, you've been watching the channel long enough, I'm gonna give it a full point. Length. All right, I already said it was medium plus finish. Yeah, so that's that's half a point right there. Intensity, that was a gimme because I already said that, it was, there you go, it was medium on the nose, but it was pronounced on the palate, so pronounced, you get a full point. And in terms of complexity, half a point. So it is one of those things where I found all those primary notes there, I found all the secondary, they played really well together. I'm not finding any tertiary on this wine, but it has so much acid and it still has a reasonable range of tannin that this could probably age for a while and develop a little bit of that tertiary and you'll be able to find it. I'm assuming it's gonna kind of come out as a, like a leathery note. Now, one thing I did notice as I've been going around and smelling this wine and tasting it a few more times, were two more things that even add more to this complexity. There's a touch of black pepper and there's a touch of like campfire smoke. And so all of that just really just further reinforces that complexity note. Just, it needs that tertiary though. It really needs that tertiary to get the full point. Anyway, so this is a very good wine. Buy a ton of it if you go and buy it. And uh, this is just one of those wines where the moment you open it, you're gonna take a sip and go, damn, I need a steak. Then you're gonna put that down just let it breathe for a while longer while you go buy a steak and you come back. And then now they're best friends because this is the only thing I want with this wine right now. It is like a porterhouse. This just is screaming, die young. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2019 Riglos Quinto Malbec? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below and I will see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. Now I'm gonna go raid my fridge, see if I have a steak there or in the freezer or I'm driving to a store because I, I need some meat now. That's going to be clipped, isn't it?